Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toddy One Skip, and this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. And this is part two <clears throat> of the video that A. Aaron had with Down the Rabbit Hole News. And we're just pulling apart that video, and it's not very difficult to see where there are some very big red flags. So thank you for joining me on the second half of this video. And let's get into it right away. People who were supposed to be your friends made you out to be the bad guy in this situation. Now, someone might go, hey, look, this is just really careless behavior for someone on the board of a nonprofit foundation. Guys, uh, you can target. have Someone You're can have target. your opinion about that, but it's like the foundation is just a vehicle to raise money and spend money. It's not an entity that exists to... To, to serve as an example of the right way to live or how to how to live by traditional spiritual values or um, how to properly, uh, you know, how to, pro it's not some big moralizing thing. Right. And it's like, did I commit a crime there? There's no crime that's committed there. And it, and it has nothing to do with the Aftermath Foundation other than the fact that Mark and Claire and Mike are embarrassed to be associated with someone who is doing and saying things and getting involved in situations that they find embarrassing. Right. That's all that happened in LA. Now, I've seen some people speculate of, oh my God, you really got out of town quickly after that. <laughs> this incident happened on Thursday morning. I didn't leave LA until Saturday afternoon. If I had just beaten the snot out of some poor girl and was afraid that the police would come knocking on my door, I could have gone right to the airport and left town. All right, guys. So as you know, Aaron uh, mentions uh, what happened in uh, California, his version of what happened in California, giving him the benefit of the doubt, I believe that that's probably what happened to him in California. Um, I, I don't see a need to argue about that. I think that he hooked up with a woman who was a stalker and uh, she was crazy. He knew she was crazy. I don't know how he thought that the situation was gonna be any different, especially with substances. In, and he admitted to mushrooms and alcohol. So giving a crazy person, that's probably not a good idea. Maybe Aaron learned that. Also, Aaron says, I didn't break the law. I didn't break the law. i like, I don't understand. Aaron, you yourself said that she could have accused you of sexual assault. You were there because of a trial in support of the Jane Doe's of sexual assault. Can you imagine if that would have happened? The embarrassment for your family, the embarrassment for your wife, your kids, the embarrassment for your friends, the embarrassment of the foundation. And then you could think of the embarrassment of Aaron. So I can't blame people. So this is after at least three years, at least three years. And that's me giving you the benefit of the doubt by giving you a couple years that we're not even talking about. And you guys in the chat and watching this video don't think that they ever said to Aaron, hey man, slow down. He said they got sick of hearing complaints about me because they were telling Aaron about those complaints. When does Aaron step up and say as a friend, I won't put you in that situation? Does Aaron not owe them that? I mean, I'm, I'm asking, I'm just, I just want to be fair. I'm not saying that they behaved any better, but I don't see anything about them like this in the, in the most recent of times. They behaved bad in, in Scientology. I'm going to go into depth and see if they behaved poorly when they were out of Scientology, but I didn't have to look far with Aaron and he just acts like he's a victim. Aaron, you've been putting yourself in shitty situations. And, and it seems like it keeps happening to you. And you just touched yourself up. It only affected me. No, it didn't. No, it did not only affect you. 
and and I, I don't understand as as a family man how you could think that it only affects you. I I, I don't get that. So I don't know, guys. I I don't know. So when Aaron makes that comment about um that the incident happened on Thursday and that he left on Saturday and if he really hurt somebody or smacked the girl or beat the girl up, he would have just gotten on a plane and left. You see, there's manipulation there. Because if you did behave like that and get on a plane and run away, that makes you look more guilty. I'm just saying. And if you think that there's no reciprocity from California to Florida for assault, you're kidding. And don't insult, I'm going to speak for me, don't insult my intelligence. Okay, you, this is a pattern I see with you, Aaron, because you say something like that in another incident where you're like, I wouldn't have called the police if, if it was me. No, 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 no. Not when you see the video. Do more than other people as far as speaking out. Uh, some people do more to help people who are leaving. Some people just want to move on. Like we are the community. So right. I'm supposed to shut up and I'm supposed to not say this or that to protect, to protect who? To protect exactly. what? I can start another foundation and raise just as much money for that foundation as I can raise for the Aftermath Foundation. And, you know, uh, uh, one has to wonder how they thought they were, and honestly, I, I, I'm hoping that people are shocked to discover that what they got rid of me for wasn't something that I did. It was something that was done to me. It was something that was done to me. What them for is making it an aftermath foundation problem. Because you know who doesn't give a shit about anything I've just told you? The people who support the aftermath the foundation. foundation. Absolutely. Don't give a shit about any of the personal drama I've just explained. And that's why in, in the meeting that we had where they voted me off, I said specifically to Mike, I said, Mike, the fact that you don't want to be associated with me is, is your problem. It's not the Aftermath Foundation's problem. And you, you're the one drawing a line in the sand here of saying it's either Aaron or me. Either he goes or I go. I go, you could just step down. I'm the one who raises the most money for this foundation. I'm the one who has historically done more work for this foundation than any of the rest of you board members. I said, Mike, operationally, you've haven't done a thing for the Aftermath Foundation and you've raised less money than anyone else on this board practically. I said, you could just step down. And he said, you're absolutely right. So if the vote doesn't go my way, I'll step down. But I said, yeah, but you're the one making it him or me. You could just step down. But he wanted to make it uh, a him or me situation. There's a lot to unpack here. So Aaron says that, you know, he has a problem not being able to speak his mind basically because he, they want to like protect each other. You remember that statement about you can't talk disparagingly about anybody that has anything to do with the community that is the aftermath community or SPTV or Anyway, the Aftermath community, let's just do the Aftermath Foundation. That's what we're talking about. How, you know, that they weren't allowed to talk disparagingly about anybody that does anything even as similar to the Aftermath Foundation, which meant people that even supported and all of that. And he says, you know, uh, you know, why do I have to protect them? But you wanted protection, Aaron. You wanted that protection. You didn't want people saying stuff about you, calling you out on stuff. Your behavior was pretty bad, but you didn't want people calling you out on it. Do you want to call other people out on their behavior? That's hypocrisy. Whether you're in a cult or not, that's hypocrisy. Well, in a cult, probably not. Probably not in a cult. But you're not in a cult anymore, so in the real world, it's called hypocrisy. Also, um, Aaron says that he thinks that we're going to be shocked to find out why they got rid of him because of what happened to him. Again, manipulation of language here. I do believe that that woman might have uh, put hands on Aaron first. 
But Aaron put himself in that situation. So he is not guilt free of that. And he seems to continue to put himself in bad situations. He's said it himself. Which also brings me to the thing where he says that Mike made it about him. Sometimes, you know, when you don't do anything, you're doing something. So if they've come to you and said, Aaron, please, 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 Aaron, please, please, stop it, stop it, stop it. And you don't stop it. Just because you didn't say, hey, man, fuck you. I'm going to do what I want to do. Your actions say, fuck you, man. I'm going to do what I want to do. So the fact that somebody um, brought it up and was was ready to confront you and say, hey, listen, step down. I'm going in there. And I believe that they did this behind your back, but I believe that it happened for a reason, and I think it was because of your behavior, Aaron. And I, 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 I hope that people see that because, because it, it's not going anywhere. At the very end, in the chats, in the super chat, he makes a comment that should have alarmed a lot of people. And we're going to get there. But I want to go back to another statement that Aaron says. Aaron says, you know who doesn't care whether I behave like this or personal um, time and shit like that is the people that support the Aftermath Foundation. I donated. I bought some stuff. I, I bought things. I supported I, I did things. I clicked boxes. And, and, and that was the blanket statement that he said he took for when they said that you can't do anything that is similar. You can't bash people or, or organizations that are similar or that do the same thing as the aftermath. Well, don't speak for me. And, and don't speak for a lot of people. You see, there you go. He makes it like it's light and the people don't care. People don't care. If you believe that, okay, people don't care. But he's speaking for a bunch of people. You think everybody doesn't care? I mean, come on. And, and people that allow anybody to behave like this, it's not good news that what happens. It's not all of a sudden that they wake up and say, oh, gee, Sometimes tough love, it's what's needed. And I'm beginning to think that maybe that happened at the foundation with his friends. Why did all of his friends back away from him? He's telling you his behavior is poor. They're married. They're married couples. Now we know that Aaron is not, he might have felt like a third wheel or something. But his behavior is poor. And he even says it. And then I show you his behavior is poor. And some people. <laughs> I don't understand. Let's keep going. When I was um, running for city council uh, two years ago. Uh, I did I was hear about my, that. I was at my favorite hangout on the on Clearwater Beach, Cigar Fusion, Fusion Cigar Lounge. Probably went there three, four days a week for years. And um, everyone there was helping me get signatures. And um, I won't be too long-winded about this. It has a, 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 a Scientologist I knew, Sky Daly, uh, came into the bar with her boyfriend, who I'd never met before. But I embraced. Big hug. Everyone's friendly. Everything's happening. Um, so uh, I don't want to be too long-winded about this because I've actually done a video about this. But here's what happened. You have. Sky and her boyfriend were at the far end of the bar. I was at this end of the bar and there was a, a stranger next to me. And, and I, I was, you know, I was drinking beers. Okay. Uh, I'm a loud talker even when I'm not having any beers in me. <laughs> when I get some beers in me, I'm, I'm even, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, um, yeah, I, I'm a loud person. Okay. Long story short, the guy next to me kept going on about how hot Sky was. And I was making a, a joke about the hot crazy matrix. Yeah, you've seen the meme, the hot crazy matrix, right? On YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I'm like, well, you know what they say? <laughs> She's hot. You know, she's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, 
is that a tasteless joke? Yeah, that's my humor. I, I, that that is where I live. Hu uh, that's my that's where I live comedy wise. I make tasteless right. jokes. Well, but I wasn't talking to Sky. I didn't know they could hear me. And what happened is her boyfriend came over and I was, you know, facing forward and he put his hands on me and basically said, if you call my girlfriend crazy again, I'm going to fucking beat you up or whatever. And he's, he said something like, you can either just sit there and, and shut up or you can stand up and we can take this outside or whatever. Um, wow. Now, I, I'm a big guy. I'm a loud guy. I do not fight. I've never thrown a punch in my life. I, I, honestly, um, maybe at my brother. <laughs> okay. I do not fight. Okay. Do you bodybuild? I'm kind of curious. Like you said, you're a pretty muscular guy. Are you like a bodybuilding? Uh, well, bodybuilding is a specific thing. I work out. I've worked out uh, very work out. regularly since I was 15. Okay. Okay. And so look, I turn around, I stand up. Next thing I know, we're on the ground. I mean, the guy just sucked. Wow. Up. Okay. Now, so what happened? Um, now, again, I, I, feel, I want to be careful because I realize every story I tell, it sounds like I'm just the victim of the story. I don't mean to paint myself that way. You, I, I can take responsibility for any part of this. I can take responsibility for drinking while I'm trying to campaign. I can take responsibility for calling her crazy. But what I didn't do is instigate a fight. Okay. So okay. I stood up. Next thing I know, we're on the ground. Well, like he's, okay. he, he's hitting me in the head. I'm so, guys, this is where I got to step up and say, I call bullshit. He did instigate a fight. He even says in the video of what truly happened on the police camera. He says after he called this girl a name so many times, did it give that guy the right to go and punch him? And the cop said, well, legally, no. But, well, I'm talking legally. So, you know, I, I, please look at that video because the story is different. The stories are different. And if Aaron can change that story, he could change any of the stories. Any of the stories he could change. He says that that woman didn't call the police and that, you know why she probably didn't call the police? First of all, they were outside. It was he said, she said. There were drugs involved. What was the police going to do? They would have arrested both of them. Aaron saying, I would have taken off and ran. At the Bullshit. Aaron said, I wouldn't have called the police if, if I did this. Why? According to you, it's okay to instigate somebody and get punched. Because in the other video, he asks the cop, does he le basically, does he legally have the right to do that? My, with, because of my words. So, here, that's my problem. And, and the fact that his friends have stood up and said, we don't support this behavior. I don't think there's anything wrong with the friends for doing that. I mean, how long do you support somebody's behavior for? How long do you allow somebody to make an organization that you're part of look bad? He might not think it looks bad, but other people think it looks bad. What I didn't do is instigate a fight. Okay. So okay. I stood up. Next thing I know, we're on the ground. Well, like he's, okay. he, he's hitting me in the head. I'm trying to cover up. I'm trying to hold on to him. And when I get up, I see Sky standing there. And I knew that she must have been saying some shit to him to get this guy riled up. Right. Okay. And I called her the C word. I said, you effing C word. Okay. Now, it has been misreported in the press because this is what this is what Sky, this is what the guy who attacked me later told the reporter that he punched me because I called his girlfriend a C word. If you think that's what I did, then of course I look horrible in the story. Guys, right. This is my favorite hangout. I've been going to this hangout for years. I'm it's mm. my first day running for Clearwater City Council. Anyone thinks I'm just going to show up and start calling women the c word? So and so I, actually it's, it's it's even been misreported um while in certain social media spaces that I hit on her at the bar. She rebuffed me. I called her the c word and the boyfriend decked me to defend her. That is actually how this incident has 
have been evolved and twisted in various spaces. And of course, that just makes me look horrible. But the only thing about this entire story that I felt nervous or defensive about was it looks like I'm just cheating on my wife. It's the, we were, this was well past the point that my wife and I had this conversation. Oh, 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 because what happened is, so, af, okay, so after the guy attacks me, he runs away. I call the police. I call the police to report. You're the one that called assaulted. the police. That's right. I see Sky running. I see Sky walking down the sidewalk. I run up to Sky. I still have this video. And if you want me to send you the video afterwards, just for the hell of it, I will. Okay. I, st I start recording and I go up to Sky. Hey, Sky, the, I see your boyfriend ran away. Uh, the police are on their way. A anything you'd like to say before the police show up? Is there anything you'd like to say about what just happened? And she goes, you were stalking me. And I go, stalking you? What, what are you talking about? You were stalking wow. me. I said, I said, cause I sent you some messages on Facebook a year ago. She goes, it doesn't matter how long ago that it was. Okay. So at first I thought she was just purely making something up, just pure fantasy. I thought she was just making something up. Okay. So then when the police showed up and I told them exactly what happened, she was, uh, they asked me, was there, is there anything else that they said? I go, oh, she said something about me stalking her. Like I'm the one who said that to the police. She said, yeah, they go, is there anything else that she said? I go, yeah, she said something about me stalking her. And it was like, were you stalking her? I go, I sent her some messages on Facebook like a year ago. I'm so, I, and I was like, uh, sorry, she's really fucking hot. Okay. That's horrible if you think I'm just a married man philandering on uh, cheating on my wife. It's pretty normal behavior if I'm just living the life of uh, – uh, of a bachelor or whatever. Right. Now you might go, well, what the hell happened a year ago? I started to suspect that maybe she was referring to something. So I went back on our Facebook messages. Now, could, Sky and I, uh, Sky, uh, uh, Sky and I have known of each other for many, many years. And because I kept going to this bar, uh, I, I would hang out at this place at the beach all the time. We kept running into each other. And at one point she had called me and was like, Hey, so what's your story? What's the deal? What's the situation? Okay. And so, one time I was at the bar and I messaged her. I said, hey, I'm in your neighborhood. Come, why don't you come on out? Now, to me, I'm in your neighborhood means I'm at the beach. I've, I always thought Sky lived on the beach because that's the uh, whenever I would run into Sky, it would be at the beach. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, hey, I'm in your neighborhood. Come on out. And she So, guys, I saw the body cam footage. And it didn't happen the way he's saying it. Everything was different. He, his tone was different. Everything. I implore you to watch that body cam footage just so that you see the difference in the way he tells a story and the way a story really happens. Okay? So even when he's telling it both times, because he's telling it at the, uh, in the body cam footage as well. So I, I really... Because you need to see how people can manipulate things. Seriously. And it's perfect example. And he put it out there. And he behaved like that. Another problem I have with this. That nobody called attention to. And this is it. What the hell? He thinks it's okay to harass somebody because they're attractive. And he thinks it's okay to talk loudly in the bar. Because in the body cam footage, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, even at the beginning, he says, I talk loud. You know, people hear me. Yeah, what do you mean you didn't think she heard you? Of course you knew she heard you. You know, the, you're telling the wrong story here, Aaron. And, and, and I really want people to check into it. But how can people not call him on his behavior and think that's the way that you behave? If, if, if that behavior is not okay for a married man, it's not okay to talk like that. When you're not married either, you don't get any rights to behave like that. That's not normal behavior. Go back to the cult. That is not normal behavior. And the fact that nobody called him out on that and said, what are you talking about? You can't do that. That's poor behavior. And then when his friends call him out on it, it was a conspiracy to get rid of him. Come on, guys. Seriously. Seriously? If you watch that body cam video, you would be just as upset too because I feel like I was being manipulated. And when somebody tries it one time, they do it. 
And then you can see it. So, and that's culty behavior as well. So, I'm just putting it out there. And you know what? I wanted to say that I really like A.A. Ron, but I'm losing respect for him now. I really am. So, not that that matters, but <laughs> anyway. And I had referenced a few times, right, that there was something very concerning, very concerning at the end of the video that he had had with Rabbit. And this is it. Well, the only psychedelic I've ever had is mushrooms. Um, and honestly, I'm not someone who enjoys being out of control of my faculty. Of your own body. Gotcha. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I would probably try LSD sometime, but I never have. I would probably try DMT sometime, but I never have. So guys, there was a few things, right? In that video that I probably brought to attention, maybe or that I helped you notice, but the main things are the difference of telling a story and, you know, that we have to challenge people in conversations because they're not always as honest as they think that they are. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Another thing is why is Aaron need to experience or experiment with more drugs? There's fentanyl out there. So what is he looking for? I had said that I had had a Coke problem years ago. My problem began because I said I'd try something that I didn't think that I would like because I didn't do any drugs and I didn't think I would like it. And I ended up with a really long cook problem because I ended up really liking it. Aaron has bad behavior now with alcohol and mushrooms. Why would you add to it? And the fact that as it's perpetuating, it, it's, it keeps going. So I'm not mad at Mike, Mark, or Claire, or anybody for backing away from him because he's continuing on. This is gonna be like a train wreck if he doesn't stop. So that I say from my heart. I, I really do, I say that from my heart. So guys, anyway guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip and this is Toddy One Skip. Thanks for allowing me to be part of your day. I hope I didn't let you down. I hope you enjoyed the content that I shared. I hope it opened your mind and gave you a little bit of perspective that maybe wasn't there before. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, share, engage in the chat. I get down in there and talk too. Um, thank you for your time. And uh, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. This is Tidy One Skip. I'm out of here. And this is Issues with Toddy One Skip.